Okay, let's say you're working in Xcode and you want to build and run your app on an actual device. Here's the video for you. Now, a lot of things can go wrong when you want to build and run your apps, um, but let me just take you through the, the broad scopes, the general gist of this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and first things first, let's open up Xcode here, and here I've got an Xcode project. Um, if you don't have Xcode, you can download it from the App Store. And I'm going to go in here to Preferences. Up here to Preferences, and you see I already have it selected, but if you don't have Accounts selected up here, select the tab that says Accounts, and then you're going to have to add your Apple ID account. So log into your Apple ID there. If you don't have an Apple ID, there's lots of videos on how to get one. It's free, and you will be able to provision a certain number of devices for with a free account. Of course, with a developer account, you can provision a lot more devices. What I mean when I say provision is Apple wants to know where their apps are, who made the apps before you put them on a device. So Apple needs to sign off on the devices that get connected to it. Okay, and you can see up here um, already, I've already had it set up. So you can see here's my uh, iPhone connected to it. And normally you'd click up there and you'd usually be using a simulator down here. When you have it all set up correctly, then you can use, you can select your own device. And then when you click build and run, then it uh, runs your app on your actual device. So you can test it on a device. A couple steps to get to that point. So the first step is, like I said, logging in here. The second step is probably going over here to your Xcode project. This top file here has got some information about your app. Select the tab here that says signing and capabilities and make sure that your personal team is selected or your, your distribution team is selected. Select something there basically. And down here it should say provisioning profile and it should have signing certificate. If this isn't working then um, you might need to click repair or something to that effect. And if that doesn't fix it, then you probably need to go to your developer backend. So go to developer.apple.com and check out your signing certificates and provisioning profiles. Sometimes you need to like um, check some user agreements over there at the website. Uh, okay. And the website again is developer.apple.com. So make sure this is selected and there's nothing red here. That's the next place to check. Um, then, of course, you want to connect your phone with a USB, a physical connection, a USB cable to your device. Now I learned the hard way, it has to go directly through all Apple approved um, dongles or USB adapters. So when you plug your device into your Apple, if it doesn't have just a regular straight USB on your laptop or your computer, then you're using an adapter. You can't use like a knockoff brand adapter. It's got to be an official Apple adapter that passes USB through. You can't use a USB hub sometimes. I mean, maybe you can, but I couldn't. I had to bypass my USB hub and go straight in using an Apple adapter. So what will happen is if you don't do that, then it, your just device won't show up here when you go to select the device here. The next thing that will happen is when you plug your device in, it may ask you if it can trust this laptop. And you want to click yes, trust the laptop. Um, the step after that I found is sometimes you have to go into device management on your iPhone also. So you go to, let me see if I can pull this up on the screen here. Oops. All right, so I've got my phone here for you to see. And what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull down and go to settings. So opening up the settings here, just your general settings. Then you wanna find uh, general. Then you wanna find general here. Click on general tab. And then down towards the bottom, there's one thing that says device management. You see it there? and you click on device management and click on this and it will ask you, it might ask you here if you trust this uh, Apple developer account. Click the trust Apple developer account and then you should be off to the races. So at this point, the last thing you pretty much need to do is make sure your device is unlocked. If it doesn't show up there, then unplug it maybe, see it went away there and I'm gonna plug it back into my USB. You might have to restart Xcode even and uh, now in the drop-down menu here, you can see 
here's your phone, select it, and then when you go to build and run, then voila. Now there's uh, a couple other caveats, of, there always are, to build applications from Xcode onto your device, you have to make sure that your version of iOS um, that you have on your device is compatible with the version of iOS that it's trying to push out here using Xcode. So what happens a lot of times is maybe your phone updated overnight and it's the latest, greatest version of iOS and you're using an, a slightly older version of Xcode, then you got to download the 14 gigabyte or whatever version of Xcode, install the new version um, so that they can both talk to each other. So hopefully this was helpful. And um, there's a lot of things that can get in the way of building apps on an actual device, but it is so gratifying to see them on there. One other thing is once you build them on the device, if you hit stop, now the, um, the app will show up on your device as a little icon there, and you can keep accessing it. So you don't have to uh, build and run it every single time. Once you push the app onto your phone, it stays on there until you delete it. So that's all I got. If you run across issues building and running apps on your device, post a comment below and we'll see if we can help you out there but but it's a tricky thing and even I found myself googling some um, issues I had when connecting mine specifically it was not going through uh, Apple sanctioned uh, dongle like I had to use the actual Apple cable to uh, build and run